Hey guys, I'm so glad that I get to be with you here today. My name is Jen Mango and I'm an Emerald Ambassador with Plexus and I've been with the company now two and a half years. I wanted to say thank you to Sammy for creating this page for all of you. I want to say thank you for you guys um, allowing me to come and just share a little bit of my heart with you in training. I know there has been some amazing, amazing impartation to you all, and I hope that you are taking advantage of that. You know, every time that you have an opportunity to grow, so does your business. And when we grow personally, we definitely see that impacted in our business. Today, what I want to talk to you about are the three R's, the three R's in our business that maybe we don't think about on a daily basis, and those are respect, recognition, and relationships. I apologize, I'm looking down at my notes just to make sure that I cover everything today. But respect, recognition, and relationships, gosh, those are some things that we all know are part of our business, whether we have large teams or small ones, and they all impact our business in some way. You know, you probably were brought into this business by someone that either you knew um, a little bit, maybe you knew them very well, or you didn't know them at all, and Plexus is what connected you and brought you together. And it is very important in this business, if you choose and want to be successful, to respect people regardless of what your relationship was prior to coming in. We have relationship with our upline, the people that came into this business maybe before us, and we definitely have an opportunity to show respect to our downline or the people that joined us alongside after we came into our business. Here are some key reminders for you about respect. This is a business. It is not a clique, it is not high school, and it's not a club. So you don't have to fit in in order for this to work, right? We wanna make sure that we are not perpetuating a sense of a clique or exclusions. We wanna make sure that we're including everyone as um, we just like we would if we were working in an office or at a business. So make sure that you're not falling into that trap. Everybody deserves respect. Whether they're your level one, or they're your level seven, or they're your diamond upline, or they're your ruby upline, and maybe you're almost to emerald, they still deserve respect. Make sure that you do, you show that. A big one is to go through your upline or downline and not around them. This means that, you know, just like life, we are going to naturally be connected to someone, um, maybe more so than another person, but we don't want to get into a pattern of leaving the person that's between us out. So for instance, I'm very close to my, my um, upline who is above my direct upline. So I'm a level two to her. It is still important for me to include my direct upline if I have an issue or if I need something handled. If I go around my direct upline, then that tells my direct upline that I don't trust her, that I don't value her, that I don't maybe think that she's capable of what she may or may not be capable of. And I'm just using this as a hypothetical, but what happens then is then my upline doesn't think that I want her support. And then she doesn't, she doesn't maybe reach out to me as often. This can very quickly snowball and turn into something that is not healthy for you, for your relationships, or for your business. So make sure that you go through and not around. A great example of doing this, if you feel like you know that your sponsor or maybe you're down someone in your downline, a level one is consistently not showing up, add them into the text even though you're reaching out to their, their your level two or your level three. Make sure that they're aware of what's going on so that in the, in the future, if they came back to you and said, well, I wasn't included, you have proof and you can show them time and time again that you did offer that to them, that you were including them and they just chose not to participate. Um, have a heart of gratitude, even for those people who are not actively working their business. You know, so many times we come in with expectation of what somebody's gonna do. Maybe they have all the right things to say and at the beginning they're all about going straight to the top with you and then life happens or um, they just become disenchanted with the products or with our company and with the opportunity. Don't hold a grudge. Have a heart of gratitude because more than likely they've connected you to another great relationship. They've connected you to more stream of income or business. And look at them as a bridge and a connector and be grateful for what they've done. The same with your upline. Even if you have an upline who is totally unsupportive, I'm going to challenge you today to think about them with a heart of gratitude to say, wow, I'm so grateful so-and-so brought me to this opportunity and brought me this business. If that's all that they've done for you, 
that's still so worth it. And then remember that respect is earned and not freely given. So if you have not always lived up to what maybe you your um, best intentions with your team or your downline, or maybe even with your upline, know that it takes time, know that it's earned, and know that it's something that you have to maybe go back and reestablish. Maybe it's a conversation, a real um, tough love, heart to heart that you have, and then you start to work on building that back. It won't happen overnight, but I promise if you're consistently um, tending to it, just like a garden, it will grow. All right, let's move on to recognition. So recognition is so important and so fun, but there's a couple of key things I wanna remind you about. People love praise. So make sure that you're praising them in the little things as well as the big things. Make sure that you're noticing when somebody makes their first post, gets their first sale, gets their first no even. People love to be recognized. Get consistent with your rank advancement praise and recognition. You know, I think it's so important as I grew my business, I didn't know how fast I was going to turn emerald. I turned emerald in 10 months and some people turned gold under me and they got a t-shirt and other people turned gold under me and they got a whole bag of goodies. Make sure that you're consistent with that because guess what guys, people are watching. Your team members are watching your downline and there is a set expectation. So make sure ahead of time that you plan what those are going to be. Maybe it's a dollar amount. Maybe Maybe it's um, a category so everybody at gold gets a big sparkly gold cup I don't know and then you have freedom to get whatever kind of cup that is maybe everybody at Ruby gets a pair of Kendra Scott earrings um, if you want to set a dollar amount maybe it's $50 do what you're comfortable with but set a standard so that you can be consistent across the board and that goes along so much with having a plan this goes both ways I want to remind you too that you can show recognition to your upline your upline often gets maybe ignored because they're making a great income, right? They're they're maybe making more money more than more times than not. They're making more money than you are, and so the assumption is they don't need to be recognized. They get this big fat check. Everybody loves the praise. Everybody loves recognition. Go out of your way to recognize your upline in some way, form, or fashion. It doesn't have to cost money. It can be a post on your team page. It can be a phone call. It can be a thank you note in the mail. But make sure you're doing that. And then make sure that you're practicing good gift giving etiquette. Giving gifts in front of people, if that's appropriate, make sure that you're not going to be lavishing somebody with something that you wouldn't do in the future. If you have something more um, special for someone, then do that in private. Um, be aware before you post a picture of something that you've, been, or you've received, Ask that person above you if that's okay for you to post because maybe it's not for them. Maybe they don't want everybody knowing that they, they bought you a pair of teaks. That would be awesome, right? Anyway, um, make sure that you're just practicing good give, gift giving etiquette and write those thank you notes. We live in a time and age when everybody's too fast and can't be bothered by anything that doesn't take some time and personalization, but that goes so far. So take the time to do that. Um, I love to do it for my customers. I love to do it for my team. We just finished a John Maxwell study, and for the girls that finished, the three or four of them that had been with me every single week, they got a little special note for me, just appreciating that they were um, dedicated and committed to that process. So take the time to write handwritten notes. And then last but not least, we're going to talk about relationships. This business has such a huge blessing, um, side effect of giving us some great relationships that we develop. I'm going to ask you and encourage you to, to develop those relationships. Obviously, you need to do that with your downline. And I practice something that I think is very important. Even as an Emerald, there's not always going to be a chance to, to get to know every single person on your team. But everyone that reaches out, work to develop that relationship with them. Develop your relationship with your upline and develop relationships with sidelines. That's a great, great value when you're frustrated with your business because with maintaining relationships, we don't want to complain down. We don't want to complain up all the time unless we're trying to have a solution and get a problem fixed. So having a sideline not to complain, but maybe to vent to a little bit is an excellent, excellent resource. Make sure that you know that relationship development is critical to your growth. You can't continue to be successful in this business if you don't cultivate relationships. This business is about sharing, not selling, and sharing comes when trust is established, and that happens in relationships. I wish you guys the best. I know so many of you have already turned 
um, a sparkly green or beyond. And we believe, believe, believe in those of you who are still on that journey that your time is coming. Remember that your journey is your own. It can't be compared. And you do your best to cultivate those relationships. Give respect and make sure you're taking part in recognition. Have a great Sunday.